1992 has been a very rewarding year for Oklahoma gardening. In addition to our national recognition, we also made our debut on CBS This Morning, and we've made a lot of new and wonderful gardening friends from across the state. And thanks to you, some of your suggestions from last year, we highlighted many various topics this year. Just some reminders are about our heirloom vegetables that we talked about, their intriguing history and all of the various funny shapes and colors that were showing up in our garden throughout the entire season. We also talked a lot about perennials and the development of perennial beds, especially when they're around trees. And we talked a lot about perennials that you can even use in full shade and the fact that they're ongoing and pretty much low maintenance. We even tackled one of our biggest projects here at the garden, which was the installation of our irrigation system. So we shared with you the problems and the fun part that we had with it as far as design, installation, and maintenance. And one of the focal points to our garden was the installation of our water gardens with more than 2,000 gallons of water and an adjoining bog garden. So we highlighted the various plants and fish that are adapted for Oklahoma gardening conditions. And one of the most enjoyable topics was our five-part series on organic gardening, where we talked about the different aspects and even tried to define the subject and gave you many alternatives to pesticide use. And one area that really has a lot of attention across the state is the decline of some of our urban forests. So we talked with many specialists and experts about how to rejuvenate and take care of the urban forestry programs. Well, these were just a few of the many topics, really over 200 various topics that we covered this year in Oklahoma Gardening. And we want to thank, once again, our underwriters and the many project sponsors who assisted in these topics. Well, now it's time to plan for 1993. We already have a few ideas, but would appreciate you writing to us with topics that you would like to see covered next year. Remember, we feel like it's your show, too, and we would love to hear from you. Tell us your educational needs, what you liked and didn't like, and especially if you have gotten any information from us or any ideas that we shared with you to help provide and make your gardening endeavors successful. We also need for you to tell us about other gardeners or horticulture stops in your area so we can plan next year's on-site visits across the state. And lastly, we want you to share with us your own gardening stories and even send us a few pictures that you feel might help other gardeners out next year. Well, we're calling it our Oklahoma Gardening Viewers Bulletin Board. And an example of what we're talking about would be a recent letter from Miss Jean Bartlett Brozek of Oklahoma City. Because of our focus on water gardens, Jean shared with us a picture of what she calls the smallest fish pond around her 45-gallon water garden, which as you can see, really looks great in her landscape. But my favorite story Jean shared, and a picture, is about the silver threads among her bark mulch, a sure sign of slugs. She heard about beer traps and put out a couple of cake cans of beer, and 20 minutes later, she counted over 50 drowned slugs. The next morning, there was over 300 and as of her letter, she had counted over 3,800 dead slugs. Well, so to make the best of it, Jean had a little bit of fun. She put up several signs, one which she shared with us near her traps that read Jean's Beer Garden. She also told us about one called McJean's, over 2,000 served. Another one was Slug Crossing, and the drinks are on the house. Well, Jean had a great imagination, and we want to thank her for sharing that story with us. So we want to ask you to be sure and write to us too and tell us a gardening story or any other successes that you've had or maybe even gadgets that you've invented. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge both classic and contemporary.